Hey guys, Chain Gear here, bringing you another video. This time it's something new. It's all about a free to play first person shooter called Planet Side 2. And I'm making this video because the game is really, really complicated and complex. Um, like I said, it's free to play, just like Blacklight, and it's a first person shooter just like Blacklight, but the game is a lot different. Um, it has a whole bunch of complex gameplay, and I know a lot of people are interested, a lot of people who have been playing with me on Blacklight um, have been playing this game, and so I kind of wanted to give a short little kind of tutorial, um, kind of on how to get started and how to do a bit of character customization. Um, if you guys are interested in anything else in Planet Side 2, um, just let me know in the comment section below. Go ahead, you know, like, share, subscribe, um, and you know if enough of you guys show interest I'll make as many videos for planet side as possible um, of course I'll always make blacklight videos uh, same thing if you guys are interested in seeing some new blacklight content um, I'm always trying to get you know new videos new ideas let me know in the comment section below um, but without further ado uh, let's get started um, this video is going to be uh, kind of me just talking through um, some gameplay here so it's not actually going to be really cut much on my computer um, um, it's going to be uh, me just kind of sitting here in front of my television um, kind of recording this. So um, I apologize if the quality is a little less than usual, um, but nonetheless, hopefully the information will be helpful. So this is the title screen, Planet Side 2. You press X to start um, and you'll log in. Um, so, uh, this is not my first time trying to make this video, um, so I already created a test character, uh, to kind of show you guys, um, this game footage, uh, which will be, um, pretty helpful, but I'm actually just gonna start a completely new character to really show you guys how the game is started. So, you click create character, that's how you get started, uh, and there are three different factions. There are There is Vanu Sovereignty. Um, these guys are kind of uh, alien technology based. They think it will bring uh, humanity to new heights. Um, they all have different kinds of guns. Uh, I know Vanu Sovereignty is supposed to have um, uh, not much drop off uh, in terms of damage per distance. Um, and I can explain that later to you guys. Um, but if you guys are interested in what the, the big differences between these different races in terms of weapons, I would definitely say Google it. YouTube it, that kind of information is out there already. Uh, Planet Side 2 is a old PC game, not old, but um, it's been out for a couple of years now. So there's a lot of information on it, uh, just not for the PlayStation 4 version. Uh, but I do believe that those those differences in class are still the same. So go ahead and Google that or YouTube it. I can leave a link at the um, in the description below if you guys are interested. Um, but otherwise, it's mainly about the fact that they're, you know, they have alien technology and they think it will uh, increase humanity. Uh, then there's the Terran Republic. Um, I kind of swore never to play as this um, faction uh, just because they remind me of a group uh, called Sever and Mag, if any of you have ever played that. I know I mentioned um, that game in my last video. But anyway, um, these guys um, kind of want to bring all of the different factions together under one banner, um, kind of oppressively. Um, they're very militaristic. Uh, their guns are all very, I, I've heard they're, they're stronger than some others, but their drop off is pretty poor. Um, uh, but I'm not necessarily 100% sure, so again, go ahead and check. But they're very militaristic, wanna put everyone under one banner. Um, so, and you can kind of maybe get that vibe from the red and the red beady eyes on the, uh, the kind of banner here. Um, but on the far right, there's New Conglomerate, and this is a Whole bunch of corporations that came together to keep the um the this continent this world um free that's what you can see the little tank in the background that says freedom uh and that's um i i have characters my main characters are under vanu sovereignty and new conglomerate but anyway um like i said they all have different like you know vaguely different um types of weapons and such but uh but that's not necessarily the most important part the, personally i think it's really just what you more believe or what you want to role play as but uh let's go ahead and pick um terran republic um and as you can see here there are different servers and i think this is really important to look at because there are two things you need to keep in mind if you want to play with anyone else in this game uh and the most important part is that you have to be in the same server. So if you pick the, you know, Terran Republic, right? Uh, like I just did. And um, your friend also picks Terran Republic. 
Unfortunately, it doesn't matter because if you guys aren't playing on the same server, you'll never be able to play together. And that's because your character is bound by specific servers, which kind of sucks. Um, you, if, if a specific server is maxed, which has happened to me multiple times, um, you will not be able to play uh, and you'll have to wait. Um, so for example, if I start trying to, you know, make my character go on um, Palos and it's max. Um, I won't even be able to play with my friends right now because I you know, tried to go on the same server that they were on and unfortunately it was maxed out. Um, so if you're, if you're trying to play with a group, a clan, a bunch of friends or just anyone, you wanna make sure you're the same faction and the same server. If you don't care about versing each other, if you guys want to be on opposite teams, then don't worry about that, but you at least have to make sure you're on the same server. So I'm actually going to skip this portion. Um, I'm going to go ahead and press circle, um, and I'm just going to pick one of the characters that I already have. Um, I'm going to pick uh, Test for CG, uh, for Chain Gear Gaming. Um, and I'm gonna hop into battle. So um, there's Cult here. This is the first continent that anyone who starts this game um, lands on. Um, and it really is, like it says uh, um, in the middle of the screen, trial by fire. You get on this small continent uh, and they just kind of push you through the game. They don't give you um, any real tutorials unless I'm missing it somewhere. If anyone has found a tutorial, um, I don't mean necessarily online, I mean in the game, um, let me know. But I haven't found it yet, um, which is very unfortunate for players who don't really know what they're doing and are kind of afraid of the game. Um, but otherwise, this, this place, um, as you can see in the bottom, uh, of the screen, it says once you reach battle rank 15, access to cult here will be removed, and that's because it's really just for beginners. Um, so anyway, um, this is cult here, um, and I'll show you guys some gameplay uh, a little bit, and then I'll explain to you guys some character customization. All right, so I just got into the game, um, and uh, as you can see, I'm in a base. Um, and this is our base. <laughs> um, and normally when you first spawn, you'll spawn inside your your main base, I guess you can say. Uh, and there'll be guys in green, which are your uh, people in your squad. Um, you'll also see people who are in red, which, well, whatever color your faction is, this, our faction is red, so you'll see guys in red. And if you aim at them, their names will pop up and you'll see the little triangle. Um, if you see anyone of any other color than green and whatever color you normally are, whether you're blue um, for new conglomerate or purple for Bonnie Sovereignty or of course red for this one, um, then shoot at them. <laughs> uh, and that's because uh, normally you get a little bit confused in this game. There is a lot of death by friendly fire in this game. Yes, there is friendly fire. Um, they try and make this game a bit more tactical, a bit more um, strategic, uh, if you will. So you definitely have to make sure you're doing things correctly and you're not um, shooting at your friends. Right now we're in our own base, so you're actually allowed to shoot each other. As long as you're in the warp gate uh, base, you can shoot each other as much as you want. Um, but don't go, uh, if you're outside in a normal game, do not shoot each other. You will get grief points, um, which we can talk about at a different time. But anyway, so this is your base, um, and in your base, there are terminals. This is a warp gate terminal. It allows you to go uh, to different continents. Um, and then this, which I believe is what we're going to talk about today, is the equipment terminal. So you press square on it. Um, some guy or girl, depending on what um, group you're part of, will talk to you about how this works, loadouts and such. Um, but what's most important here uh, is that you have different classes, and sometimes this gets overlooked. You have the light assault. If you look at the top, um, the top side of the uh, of the screen, there's light assault, combat medic and then Heavy Assault. Those are the different classes that you can start with. So as you can see, I'm level one. I'm on my way to level two on the top right-hand corner. Um, this is one test for CG. Um, and you can see that Light Assault um, is uh, the, the class that you start out with. Uh, they have jump jets. Um, they're you know kind of fast, and they have uh, shotguns and carbines and stuff. But we'll talk about weapons later. Combat Medic, which has the uh, medical applicator, um, which allows you to revive and heal people. It also has a nano regen device. It just allows you to heal yourself. Um, 
And then there's the Heavy Assault, um, which has this Nanite Mesh um, generator, which I believe is just kind of um, a shielding. I think it's for yourself. I don't think it's for other people, but I'm not sure. I haven't actually played as the Heavy Assault. And they have uh, what looks like a Rocket Launcher, which is pretty cool. I actually have never played as that um, class before, but there are other classes as well. Um, uh, so the Infiltrator, uh, which you unlock at rank three, uh, which has snipers and a cloak. Um, the engineer, which has an uh, anti-infantry turret, that's awesome, um, and a nano armor, um, a nano armor kit. I don't actually know what that is either. Um, and then there's the max unit, which I know is used to kind of destroy, um, you know, tanks and huge equipment, um, and or and or verse, you know, tons of enemies at one time. Um, but anyway, so these are the different types of uh, classes that there are. I'm just going to focus on Light Assault for right now, just to give you guys kind of an understanding. Um, you automatically have two different loadouts that you can have. So uh, if you press L2 and R2, you'll see um, uh, a little below the top of the screen, um, it changes. Uh, and then I'm just gonna stick to the first one for right now, but uh, on the left side of the screen You'll see weapons. Um, so let's just start there. You have your primary and your secondary uh, your primary uh, if you press X uh, You'll see that there are different types of weapons in the top of the screen. You'll see shotgun carbine SMG and then you can look at all of your weapons. Um, and online, many people are saying that the original weapons you start with are fine. They're, they will get you through the game. They are super competitive. Don't worry about having to buy these other weapons. They're expensive. Um, if you're interested in getting the other weapons, go for it. But if you're not, you just wanna play the game, then go for it. Just play with the weapons you have. Um, and you start off with a shock for light assault um, for this class, uh, for this, um, for this faction, um, you start off with a shotgun and a carbine. Um, you do not start with an SMG. Uh, so the shotgun here, um, you know, as you can see, there it has the information on the top uh, left-hand side of the screen. Um, fire rate, which is pretty slow. Um, the velocity of the muzzle, uh, reload speed, ammunition, accuracy, things like that. So go ahead and look at that if you're interested. They also have the damage over distance um, ratio in meters. I think this is a, kind of important in this game. These battles are huge. Uh, the maps are huge. I'll give you a little taste of that um, in a couple minutes, but um, so you want to make sure that's kind of something that you're looking at if you're interested at doing longer range combat. Obviously, this is a shotgun, so it's pretty low, but if you look at the carbine, um, it's a lot higher. Uh, you can see the, the damage drop off. Um, it, it's pretty steep a after a certain point um, once you get a little past 50 meters, um, but it's still definitely better than uh, the shotgun <laughs> and then there's the smg which is also used for close quarters um but anyway so this is these, these are weapons and it's only weapons um so if we press circle we'll go back um there are also all of the uh, equipment or the different parts of the gun that you can add uh kind of like blacklight a little bit less customization obviously um but you can add a scope um, there are no scopes uh, that you automatically have. You're, you have iron sights, as you saw a little bit before. And this is probably a good time to explain to you guys uh, the currency. In the top right-hand corner, um, you'll see uh, the these four little boxes, and they all have zeros besides the bottom one. Um, I'm not actually sure what that is, but if you look above that one, the one that says 750, those are certs. Um, I have zero certs because I haven't actually fought in game yet. I haven't um, leveled up or anything like that. I haven't completed any missions or objectives. So I don't have any certs right now, but throughout the game, you'll get this currency called certs. And if you click on something, you'll see that you can buy it for either battle cash, which is microtransaction currency. So money for um, you know this in-game uh, battle cash or certs, um, which again, like I mentioned, you get through playing the game. Um, I was level seven and I had about 600 some certs. So I don't necessarily know what the, you know, what exactly you get certs for. I'm pretty sure leveling up you get certs and completing objectives. Um, so five certs isn't a lot, uh, especially to unlock a site if you feel like you need one. Um, so I think that that's kind of cool, just so you guys know that. Um, play the game and buy some cheap you know, uh, sites if you're interested. Um, there are different types of sites that cost more money. Money, uh, but go ahead and look at that now that you guys know how to get to this point there are other different things that you can add onto your gun um, forward grip laser sight um, flashlight all things that are you know kind of standard to shooters nowadays um, and then they also have suppressors um, if you're interested in that all things that you have to unlock uh, or, or you have to buy through with certs 
Um, then, like I said, there's your secondary weapon. Um, here, you have a pistol, you have a crossbow, uh, which is very interesting. Uh, and then, of course, you can see all of them. Um, and then there are attachments for those as well. So what I really think is important um, is the gear. Uh, and here you can see that there are jump jets. Uh, that's what the light assault has. Um, if you go ahead and click on those, um, you can, these are all the different types of, I guess, jump jets that you can have for the light assault. I don't necessarily want to go into what the light assault has, but you can see there are abilities here. And if you press square, you can upgrade or update those abilities. Um, so uh, with certs, I can purchase an upgrade and you see um, in the kind of the middle of the screen, it says upgrade increase fuel capacity and regeneration speed by a total of 12%. And that's for all of the different um, abilities that you have in the game. You kind of can spend some certs um, and buy different things for it. Um, there's also um, different types of things. So for here, there's the normal jump jets, and then there's also the Icarus jump jets. So it just kind of depends on what class you're playing as. But anyway, um, aside from that, there's also different types of grenades. You automatically start with the frag grenade. You can get a smoke grenade, which is pretty cool. Um, you can get Get, um, this chain blade which there are different types of blades the chain blade or the ripper um, and again this might be um, uh, class specific it might be faction specific um, so definitely take a look depending on what faction and class you plan on doing and then there's all these appearance things so there's helmets um, I'll show you real quick all cosmetics you have to buy these with battle cash um, there's also uh, your armor and your camo and then little decals that you can have on um, the uh, shoulder pad of your of your character so um, if you're interested in any of that that's all battle credits or battle cash um, that you have to buy so anyway um, that's kind of the main uh, way to customize your character I don't necessarily think I'm missing anything if I am go ahead leave it in the comment section below um, or leave it in the forums or on reddit um, but that's pretty much everything in terms of how to kind of get customization um, started within the game um, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure that's it. So I'll show you a little bit about um, the game outside of that. Um, I don't want to take too much of you guys' time. Um, the really, the, I guess the only thing I really want to tell you guys uh, is how to play the game. A lot of people kind of get confused. It's pretty much like a normal first person shooter for the most part. Um, besides, as you can see, I have this little jetpack. And this game is pretty old, like I mentioned. So it's kind of cool that it has, it's not old, but um, you know, it has these like jump, you know, jetpack things, which is pretty cool. Um, but L2 to, um, you know, scope down, R2 to fire your gun. Um, square to reload, triangle to switch weapons, um, and then uh, X is to jump, uh, light jump, and then um, circle is to crouch. There is no proning in this game, so you can't get all the way on the ground and uh, you know reduce your um, your body size to start sniping, um, but you can you can crouch. Um, otherwise, uh, you can press. Uh, R3, and that's how you knife. If you hold R3, that takes out your knife, um, and then you can press R2 to kind of swipe your knife, um, and then you press triangle to go back. Um, oh yeah, that's a good point. Uh, they have like server stuff, so like they're about to lock us out of the server, it says in 15 minutes, I think. It might have been 15 hours, I wasn't really paying attention. Um, but always pay attention for that kind of stuff if you're in game, you don't want to get caught off guard. Um, but also to run, uh, you press L3, uh, pretty, pretty standard. Um, and then, uh, oh, this can get kind of complicated. So normally uh, grenades are um, uh, either R1 or L1. Um, for your gear, it's L1. So for the light assault trooper, um, it, L1, you get to use your little jump jets. Um, and then for, um, if you press R1, uh, it opens up this little quick chat menu. Um, and uh, your character will say a couple phrases um, kind of out loud, which can be helpful sometimes. I'm not sure how you know people will use that. Um, I guess if you don't have a mic, it can be helpful or something. I'm not really sure. There's also voice options to change it to um, squad or proximity. Um, that can be pretty helpful as well. So if you're in a game and you're playing with people and your squad's not necessarily nearby, you can change it to proximity and start talking to um, people around you, or you can change it to your squad and start talking to your squad. Um, 
what else? Oh, if press L1 and R1. This is very bizarre, um, but it took uh, me and my clanmate uh, Piggyback Cobra a while to figure this out, actually. L1, R1, that's how you throw your grenade. Yeah, really random. I know. I'm um, not really sure if you can cook them or not. I just used it, so I don't I don't have another one, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I guess if you press up, that's how you change your firing mode. As you can see in the bottom of the screen, the firing changes. Now it's single shot. Now it's multi shot. Uh, so or automatic, I should say. Um, and I think that's pretty much it. So like I said. Um, yeah, I, I'm gonna. I'm always gonna create blacklight videos, but I just wanted to make this because it's another free-to-play first-person shooter, um, and I thought that that was cool. You know, if you guys are interested, a lot of my friends are playing it now. So let me know in the comment section below if you guys like this video, if you guys are interested in more, if you have any questions, um, if you want any different types of videos, let me know for sure. Um, I will definitely um, do whatever I can to help uh, the you know the blacklight community and the um, the PS2 or the PlayStation uh, or the PlayStation. Um, uh, planet side 2 by the way people call planet side 2 ps2 that gets really complicated sometimes depending on if you had played the ps2 or not but anyway um yeah so let me know comment section below please like share subscribe um and uh, otherwise i think that's it so i will see you guys online and i'll see you in the next one thanks a lot